Hi everyone, uh, welcome to EA30 Swimming. Today I'm going to take you through a land-based session, body weight only. My name is Aaron, I'm a strength and conditioning coach, and we're going to go through some exercises to help improve your swimming. Um, before we get started, just make sure that you've got some water at hand. Also, if you've got a mat, that would be great because we are going to do some exercises on the floor. Um, apart from that, if you have any pre-existing injuries, please do not aggravate them, and I'll try and provide you as many alternatives and regressions as I possibly can. So to begin with, we're going to do a ramp warm-up. We're going to raise, activate, mobilise, and potentiate. So to start off with, let's raise our heart rate so we can move into the next few phases, and let's get started. So to begin with, we're going to go with a reach down. So it's going to be a, a lateral lunge to the side. We're going to touch the calf, the gastrocnemius muscle. You'll notice that as I lunge, I then reach into the leg. So we're not going to reach down too low just yet. As we start to get a little bit warmer, we can then increase that range of the reach down. So stay with this movement. As you're going into the lunge position, you want to drive your hips back and you want to keep your chest up. So hopefully by now you feel core temperature raising just a little bit. Heart rate hopefully should be increasing. We're now going to move into some more lateral lunges, but we're going to try and increase the reach down. So as I now lunge, I'm now going to try and touch my ankle or as close to. As I do that, I drive my hips right back and I keep my chest up the whole time. Good. Keep that movement for me, breathe in, and then breathe out. Let's stay with this. Let's try and keep this movement now, warm up the hips, warm up the lower body. Good. Not long to go. Reach down, set, excellent. Let's go two more each side. Perfect. And then we're going to move to that upper body. Head up, looking forward. One more to go. And relax. Okay, so the upper body, we're going to keep it dynamic as well. We're going to go with shoulder rotations, okay? So hopefully by now, the legs should feel a little bit warmer. We've now got to do exactly the same for the arms, particularly the shoulders, which you'll see important muscle for swimming. And also going to be used a lot, utilized throughout the upper body workout today. Let's now go to the rotations on the way back. Keep that big, those big circles if you can. Keep your knees nice and soft. And try and exaggerate those circles as best as you can. So the next one we're going to do, a little bit of coordination now. We're going to do one forward and one back, okay? You can choose which side to go forward and which side to go back to begin with. So we're going to keep with this movement and then we're going to switch sides. Knees nice and soft and keep your core nice and tight. Okay, let's change. Again, you might find one side a little bit easier than the other to do this, but that's fine. The more you practice this, the easier it will become. Again, we're going to start at this for another five seconds, and then we're going to move into the activate. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so now we're going to activate. We're going to activate the posterior chain. So we're going to go into an exercise called the Cobra. So what we're going to do we're going to lay down on our front. When we raise up, we're not going to go too high because we don't feel any pressure in our lower back. Arms out in front, from here, take a deep breath in and raise the arms and the legs. Breathe out and get to the top and then relax down. If you feel anything for your lower back, don't go so high. Try not to bring your chest up too far. And the second point, really squeeze your glutes when you get to the top. Okay, we'll go again, so from here. Back down. Again, you should feel it all through the posterior chain. You'll feel a little bit through the back, but it should not be painful. It's painful, you're going too high. Good, number three, we'll go for 10 knees. Raise up, hold. Excellent, good, nice control. Yeah, don't breathe two second hold at the top. So make sure when we get to the top, we breathe out like so. And again. Perfect. Three to go. Hope you should feel those glutes really warming up now. Another good coaching point when you get to the top, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Let's try and fire up those long boys. And again. Perfect. 
So that's the A, the activate. Posterior chain should now feel uh, activated. We're now gonna go into M, which is mobilize. So we're gonna move into a gorilla squat and then we're gonna move it into an overhead squat straight after. So what we're gonna do, we hold the ankles and then we're gonna sit into the squat. I'll show you from the side so you can see the position and you can see my back position as well. So from here, you wanna look forward. If you feel like where you're holding is causing you to do this and you're gonna get a lot of flexion for your back, hold a little bit higher up your leg towards the gastrocnemius, your calf, and keep that chest up. Okay, once you've held it there, you're gonna raise one arm, hold that arm up, squeeze the shoulder blade, raise the other, squeeze the shoulder blade, and then stand up. So we're working a lot through the scapula, a lot through the hips as well. Let's try that again. So we sink into that gorilla squat first, hold. Chest is up, looking forward. We then raise one arm, squeeze the rhomboid, shoulder blades together, here, and then up we come. Good, let's go again, down into that position to open up the hips, hold, keep your chest up, extend the chest, raise one arm, raise the other arm, keep that position, and then drive. Two to go, again, try and keep that position for a few seconds before you stand up, so you hold here, Really make sure that your hips are opening up in this position. One, two, hold and drive. Excellent. Okay, one more to go. Same approach. Keep that position for me. Hold it there. Raise one arm. Raise the other. Keep that chest up. And then drive. Okay, so now we're going to go into the P, which is the potentiate. Because the session's going to be um, a mix between upper and lower with a little bit of core. We're going to potentiate the lower first and then we're going to go into the upper straight after. So the first thing we're going to do is called a uh, pogo exercise. I'll show you from the sides. You're going to jump with stiff legs or soft knees and we're going to work on ankle stiffness, okay? So making sure that we're nice and strong through the ankle. By doing that, hands on the hips and all you're going to do from there is just jump up and down. What you don't want to do is this. So two things I'm doing there, I'm bending a lot from my knees and I'm spending a lot of time on the floor. You've got to be nice and quick on the floor. Imagine it's a trampoline. As soon as you hit the floor, you're straight back up again. Okay, so we're gonna go for 10 pogos. Ready? Three, two, one. Try and get as high as you can. Flip those heels up as well. Bring those toes right up. Good. And relax there. Okay, so stay nice and strong for the ankle. When you jump, you don't want to try and point your toes down. You want to try and bring your toes up as much as you can, and that will help when you hit the floor to return quicker. Okay, let's go again. Hands on hips. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more to go. And you should, if you do it properly, you'll fit a lot for the gastrocnemius, the calf muscle. That's exactly where we're trying to fire up. Okay, one more to go. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice and strong for those ankles. Good, move there. And relax there. Okay, so we potentiate the lower body. We're now gonna potentiate the upper body, more specifically the rhomboid. So we're gonna do Y raises, okay? So what we're gonna do to start off with, we're gonna go into a hinge position, we drive the hips back and we lean over, okay, we stay here. So you don't want to sit back like this, you want to have a nice lean, so you're pushing back through the hips and soft knees throughout. From here, also most of my weight now is in the middle of my foot, you keep that position. I want your thumbs up like that, keeping the hips back, you're just gonna raise the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, back down to the start, okay? Let's do that together, so breathe in. Breathe out and get to the top. Back down, let's go again, breathe in, set, up we come. Nice squeeze at the top on the shoulder blades is exactly what we're after. Thumbs always facing up. So imagine a Y shape, it comes out and you're going off a diagonal movement to create that Y shape. Good, go for 10 reps, that's five. Six, and again, you're doing the hip hinge correctly, you'll feel it a lot for the hamstrings as well. From here. Good. Keep a deep breath in. Set the core. 
Excellent. Two to go. Nice and strong for that core. On a rep and squeeze those shoulder blades at the top here. Good. Okay. So that's the warm up now done. That brings us nicely into the start of the session. Grab some fluids first before we move into it. And then we're going to go into the first superset, which is uh, an upper and lower superset. So every exercise I'm providing has got some um, you know, specific movements to help with swimming. So the first one we're going to do is called a dive bomber. Okay, it's a type of um, press up, it's quite advanced type of press up. There's a lot to it, so I'll go for it first. And then we're going to superset it with a squat hold to press. So we're going to work the legs isometrically, keep them in a the hold. So the dive bomber is going to be, or well, is an advanced movement. So if you can't do it, I'll give you an alternative. To perform a dive bomber, you're going to drive the hips up, you're back from the hands, and then you're going to dive straight down here into a sweep motion, and then come up there, okay? Now the, qu the quads can hit the floor, it's absolutely fine. You don't want to overextend the back too much, so if it hurts, just drop yourself a little bit here. And then once you've done that, back tap starting position, dive down, restart, etc. If you really don't get on with them, and you don't find you can, do, you can't find you can do them, what I want you to do instead is a normal press up position here, okay? You're gonna go down, you're gonna come up, and then when you come up, Touch one shoulder, touch the other, and then return. And you can do that movement on your toes or on your knees, all right? So you're either going to do a dive bomb with me, or you're going to uh, swap for the press-ups instead. Okay, so with the dive bombers, we've got 10 reps to complete. We're going to start off in three, two, one, deep breath in. And then return to that starting position. Drive the hips right up. Guys, when you get to the top of the movement here, you should feel those hamstrings. Good. Get set. Nice big sweep. Hold. Good. There's five. Six. Keep it going. Seven. Nearly there. Eight. Two more. Nine, last one. And there's your 10. So, if you can, grab a cushion or something that's very, very light. If you haven't got nothing around, you can just use your arms and push from your arms. That's absolutely fine. A cushion will make it a little bit better though if you can access that. We're now gonna go down into a squat position. We're gonna hold it, okay? We're gonna be at parallel with our back nice and flat, chest up, and then we're gonna move with Pushing the cushion forward and back while keeping the squat position. All right, so we've got to keep the core tight and also work those legs. So to begin with on this movement, we're going to go 30 seconds and then for the other round, we'll look to increase the time. Three, two, one, down you go. Get that position right first. Notice how I'm sitting back on my heels. I'm keeping my chest up and I'm making sure my core stays nice and tight. So if you haven't got a cushion, you can just do this with your arms anyway, forward and back. Let's go. Good. Stay nice and strong and keep that breathing. Here we go. Look forward the whole time. We've just got under 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. So hopefully you felt it for the legs. Like I said, for the other sets, we'll go a little bit more in terms of the time. But for the first one, just getting that technique right. Okay, a little bit of recovery, and then we've got the dive bombers again, and we're back into the squat holds to press. If you can't do the dive bombers, you are shoulder touch, shoulder touch into a presser. Okay, so we've got just under 10 seconds, another set to go, set number two, keep into the same reps. 10 reps, okay, three, two, one, hips are up, through, and sweep. Good. Dive down, sweep up. That breathing right, breathe in. Breathe out. Let's go. Stay nice and strong. Keep that core nice and tight. And really trust those arms at the top. Good. Go again. Seven. 
Eight, two more. Nine, one more. Excellent, okay. We're gonna move into the squat press to make it a little bit harder now. We're gonna go for 40 seconds. Same technique, just a longer time. Three, two, one, down we go. Sit through those heels, then keep that chest up. Good, keep that breathing consistent. Make sure the knees aren't coming in together. They're away, you drive them out slightly, and you'll feel that a lot more for your glutes as well. Good, back into the chest and press. Good, if you feel like your back's suffering, just come up a little bit higher, hold that position, that's absolutely fine. Okay, we've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then relax there. Well done guys on that one. So that's the squat hold to press is done. So a little bit of fluids now for a bit of recovery. We're now gonna move into the second part, which is gonna be an upper and lower superset as well. So while you're recovering, I'm just gonna go through the two new exercises that we're gonna begin with. So you're gonna use your cushion if you've got one to start off with. We're gonna go for five reps each side. Just to give you a quick demo, you can either do the press ups on your toes like so, or you can do them in a three quarter fashion on your knees. Once you've done your five, we move the cushion across and we do five on the other side. If you haven't got a cushion, not a problem. You're just gonna go into normal press ups and you're gonna complete 10 in total. So we do that first and then we'll move into the second exercise which is gonna be for the lower body. So grab your cushion, you haven't got your cushion, you're gonna go for normal press ups and you're gonna do 10 in one go. And we're gonna start off with the cushion, if you've got that, for five each side. And we're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. If you've got a nice bit of speed on this one, good control, but try and complete them nice and strong. Okay, five reps, move it across, let's go. Breathing going all the way down and relax there. So, five and five, we then Move it out of the way. We're now going to go to a split squat into rotations. So feet together, you're going to go one foot, two foot in front, and the same for the back leg. One foot, two foot. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can bring it in a little bit. Okay, just make sure you're not putting too much through the knee and you're not pushing it excessively over the toes. So what we're going to do, we're going to sit through the heel, sit down into the movement, and then rotate, and then we come back up. So there's rep number one. Down, sit through the heels. Two, nice and strong to that core. Three, shoulders back here. Rotate, four, good. Five, nice strong rotation. Six, brace the core. Seven, let's go again. Eight, two more. Get that chest up for me. Nine, last one. Good, so you fit for the quads, the glutes, the hamstrings, and also through the obliques. Change sides, let's get that set up right first. Again, don't rotate, if you're off balance, take your time before you rotate. So all the way down, and then rotate here. Good, one, control, two, nice. Stay strong, nice and rigid for that core. As you rotate, do not allow that front knee to rotate. That stays solid, so if you're rotating too far, you might find the knee starting to move. We don't want that. Sit through the heel. Let's go. Three more. Good. Two more. Last rep. And relax there. Yeah. Okay, fluids on if you need it. So that's the first superset done. We've got the press ups and we've got the split squats. A little bit of recovery, not too long. We're now going to move into set number two and I'm going to add an extra rep now. We're going to go six each side. If you haven't got a cushion, you're going to do 12 press ups in one hit instead. So we're starting in 10 seconds. Same approach for the press ups. Breathe in on the way down. Make sure the chest is up and slightly raise the chin. Three, two, one. Let's go. All the way down, all the way up. That nice extension and then. We change. 
Okay, six on one side, six on the other. Let's go. All the way down. One more. Perfect. So, place your cushion out of the way, because now we're going to go for the split squat. Get your setup correct. Okay, set yourself. Three, two, one. No rotation through those legs whatsoever. So you've got to really brace your core there and then come back into the middle. Here, stay nice and strong. Three to go. Good. One more. Well done, okay. Switch sides, same approach. We've just got to use the other leg now. Nice and strong. Make sure you've got that balance before you rotate. Three, two, one. Good, nice and strong. Excellent. Pull that weight through the heels. Chest stays up, shoulders stay back. Here we go. Good, five. Six, seven, let's go. Eight, stay strong. Nine, one more. And relax there. So, largely going for the legs on that one, as well as the core. Fluids on. We've got one more set to go. So, for the last set, we're going to make it a little bit harder. We're going to go for seven press ups each side and then we go into the split squats to finish up with. So 15 second recovery and then we're going to go into it. So if you haven't got a cushion you are now doing 14 press ups, no recovery in one hit either on your toes or on your knees. So I'll be ready in three, two, one, breathe in, breathe out. Keep that breathing consistent Seven reps done, we move it across, get the set up right, let's go. Stay strong for that core, all the way down, all the way up, and relax there. If you manage all 14 or seven each side, well done. Next one, split squats. So we're gonna go with the leg first, obviously in front of the rotations. I'm gonna start off the side that I've been starting on, from here. Three, two, one, down we go. Rotate, come back up, hold. Good, get that core tight. There, when you rotate, nice and strong. Don't relax. Nice and rigid. All my weight is through my heel on this front leg. Down, rotate, up, let's go. Good, one more. Relax it. Again, you might find one side easier than the other. That's absolutely normal. With this, we're going to try and reduce the asymmetries or any that you may have. So, last side. Three, two, one. There we go. Rotate. Good. And again. Nice and strong. Sit through that heel. Let's go. Five. Stay strong, guys. Six. Core nice and tight. Seven, weight through your heel. Eight, good, chest up. Nine, shoulders back. Ten, well done. Okay, fluids on. And then we're gonna finish up with some core work. As you're recovering, I'll go through the next core exercise. This is called a hollow body hold. It's got a few different names. I call it a hollow body hold. You may have seen it or done it before, but let me just give you a quick demo before we start. First things first, you've got enough space, that's the key. And then from there, arms over your head, and you're gonna raise yourself off the ground just slightly and brace the core here. Now, what we wanna do is try and keep that back as extended as we can. When you move up, do not go into this position here, because you'll just feel it going through your back. We want it through the core, so make sure you're always looking up, okay? Let's start off with a 30 second hold, and I'll add in a few little additions as we go through the sets. 
So as everyone's ready, we're gonna go three, two, one, brace the core, relax the legs, tense the stomach, drive that chest up, hold. Consistent with that breathing. Nice and strong, let's go. Excellent guys, keep that hold. We're nearly there now, let's go. Legs shouldn't be working at all, it should be that core. Five, four, three, two, one, down we go. So if you manage to get that technique right, you should feel it all through the core. It's a real challenging movement. Um, we're gonna make it a little bit more challenging now. We're gonna go for 40 seconds, but this time we're gonna add in a little bit of movement as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold at points, and then we're gonna raise and go into a V-sit, back down into a hold, okay? So if I say go into a V-sit, you're gonna move into that position, and then straight back into the hold. With the V-sit, just like the hold, you wanna try and keep your back extended as best you can, and don't go into the V-sit like this, all right? If you find it too difficult to do the V-sit, just do the holds. Right, so we're coming up, another 10 seconds. Guys, if this is too difficult, the other exercise I want you to do is a dead bug. And you're gonna go down and you hold it there. If you extend your legs, it's harder. If you bend your knees, it's a little bit easier. So you choose which version is good for you. That's only if you're finding this one too difficult. Three, two, one, hold. Okay, V-sit, back down, good, hold. Get that chest up, V-sit. So you really make sure the back's extended, the spine's extended, it's backs are nice and flat here. V-sit, drive that chest and head toward the ceiling, there. Good, set yourself. Nearly there now, hold. Come up. Excellent, hold. Not long to go. Nice and strong, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So adding those movements make it a little bit harder. We've got one more set on that, and then we've done the three sets and we can move into the cool down. So for the final set, we're gonna attempt 45 seconds. We're gonna add in a few little movements, V-sits, as well as keeping that hold. So guys, we haven't got long recovery, just under 15 seconds. If you're not liking this movement, like I said, you should be doing that dead bug movement instead. 10 seconds. So, I've given you your rest time, as long as your work times, so we've done 40 on, 40 off. And we're gonna go again in five, four, three, two, one. Set yourself and hold. Brace that core, stay strong. Let's move into that V-sit, strong. Control it, back down, hold. V-sit again, strong. Good, back down, control. Let's do it again, V-sit, hold. At the bottom, keep it strong, let's go. V-sit again, yeah, nice. Stay strong here, hold. Head up, chest up, let's go. V-sit, back down to that hold. 10 seconds, guys, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. If you managed that whole 45 seconds, great work. That's a real tough one. Have a little bit of fluid, and then we're gonna move into our cool down. So to start off with the cool down, we're gonna go for the lower back. You're gonna lay down for this one. One leg's gonna go across the body. And then you're gonna face the other way. Get a nice stretch going through that lower back. And we're gonna hold it there for 15 seconds. If you want more of a stretch, you draw that knee toward the ground. But again, do not overstretch. It should be to mild discomfort. Five, four, three, two, one. So we're gonna change sides. So I'm just gonna switch sides just so you can see the technique. One leg across the body, and you face the other way. You can hold that stretch, 15 seconds. You should feel a nice stretch down for that lower back, and also you should help bring that heart rate back down as well, because we're laying down. So hold it there. Five, four, three, two, 
One, another big one for the lower back and also for the hips. You're gonna hold both legs in towards you. You're just gonna rock up slightly. So the lower back just comes off the floor very slightly. I'm gonna hold that there for 15 seconds. Nice stretch, like I said, for the hips and also for the lower back, keep it there. You might even fight it through the quads a little bit if they're tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Hamstring stretch, one leg down. In a kneeling position there, in a flex position, and then you're gonna hold the other leg. Again, pull the leg back to mild discomfort and drive the toes down. So a little bit of dorsiflexion, just to get a little bit more stretch those hamstrings. Okay, hold it there. 15 seconds. By now, heart rate, blood pressure should be lowering, which is great. So we're cooling down effectively. Three, two, one. Okay, change sides. Same approach, just with the other side now. Keep that head back. And get your breathing right, breathing for the nose and for the mouth. Let's get that heart rate right back down. And also, let's look at that dorsiflexion in that left side. If you're doing that side now. Five. Four, three, two, one. So slowly onto your feet. We're now gonna move into a shoulder stretch with a little bit for the core. So you're gonna rest on the tricep, you're gonna rotate out, and then you're gonna face the other way. You're gonna hold that stretch here for 15 seconds. You should feel a nice stretch going through the obliques and also through the shoulders here. And by you looking the opposite way to where your arms go in, you should get a greater stretch here. Three, two, one. Excellent, let's go again. Set yourself, look away, hold that position. And as we're standing, just make sure that your knees are soft, okay? Don't lock those knees. Hold that stretch for me. Shoulders should be feeling it, deltoids, and also for the obliques. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, well done. So that's your EA30 swimming session done. Leave some comments underneath the video. Let me know how you found the session. I'll be back next week with another series, some more workouts for sport. Um, let me know if you've enjoyed it and hopefully I'll speak to you guys soon.